Hey guys, and welcome to another exciting day here on Verbling.com. My name is Kendi, and I will be teaching here for the next two hours. We are talking about conversation, easy conversation in everyday settings. So we will be going over lots of useful phrases and new vocabulary to help you have a more natural sound when conversing uh, in everyday situations. So I'll give you a few moments to get signed in. This class will be for intermediate or advanced users. Uh, say hi to Ettore. Hello. Hello, Ettore. We can't hear you, so check your microphone. Oh. I'm not sure Thank if you're you on mute. Okay. Uh, Dennis, welcome to class. No. Okay. Not. No. I'm not hearing you guys. Can we try again? Hello. Okay, Ettore. There we go. Hi. Oh. Hi. Hello. I think my volume was down on the computer. I'm sorry about that. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Excellent. Welcome to class. Where are you from? I'm from Italy. Cool. And how long have you been on Verbling? Oh, um, since for a month now. For one month now. Awesome. Well, it's nice to meet you. Thank you for being in class with us today. And then some days I'm uh, also going to teach on Verbling because I'm really? one of the new Italian teachers. Yes. You're going to teach Italian. Mm -hmm. Cool. Welcome to the community. Nice to have Thank you. you. That's awesome. Okay, congratulations on that. Uh, Thank all right, you. thanks for being here again. Ricardo, welcome. Nice to see you again. Hello, teacher Kenji. Hello, everyone. Good to see you again, teacher. How you doing? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank awesome. you. Great. Thank you. Great. Another day. It's going to be good. Uh, Ruby, nice to see you again. How are you? Thank you. Nice to see you too. Fine, How are you today? I'm fine. I'm fine. Thank you. I'm enjoying the classes today. Awesome. Did you take uh, a couple classes already? Yes, I have uh, taken some classes. Yes? Um, yes. What is one thing that you learned from today? It's like the most interesting thing you've learned already. Well, many things because we were practicing a lot of conversation, so there are many things that I have practiced. So many things. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Well, that's good to hear. That's so cool. Okay, thanks okay, for being thank here you. with us today. Also, Vinny, welcome back. Nice to have you in class today. Nice to see you. How are you? Hi. How are you? I'm great. How about you? Good. Good. Thank you. Alexandra, what if you teach Russian? I don't know. I don't know if Verbling has uh, Russian classes up yet, but when, if and when they do, you should definitely try. It's a really fun gig. Gig, like, job. Okay. Uh, Dennis, are you there? Uh, can you hear me? Hi, yeah. You know, it was my own personal computer's volume that was down in the beginning. It wasn't a problem. Just I was the problem. So I can hear you now. How are you today? Uh, I'm perfect. You're perfect. That's awesome. That's great. Well, I'm glad to see you. Thank you for being here. Alexandra, how are you? Um, I'm fine, thank you. I missed some of your classes because usually the broadcast uh, is around 3 or 4 a.m. my time, but I watch it um, awesome. Recordings, yeah. I watch recordings. You did or you will watch them? I did. Oh. On <laughs> phrasal verbs and slang and street language. Nice. Did you learn so some I'm new stuff? Follower. Huh? Did you learn some new things? Yeah, of course, a lot. Awesome, awesome. Okay, fun with dig learning Russian. Yes, you used that correctly. Awesome, okay. Yeah, cool. you know, I like it. it also helps me to watch my favorite TV shows. I watched um, another 
episode today and I heard several phrasal verbs which you taught here. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> like which which what what is your favorite TV show? Uh, I watch Newsroom and do you know Newsroom? Yeah. Yeah, I watch Newsroom and I watch Suits. Suits? Yeah, it's about Like a attorneys. business suit? No, 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 it's about attorneys, American attorneys. Have you white, seen it? White collar attorneys. Oh, no, like, no, no, not white collar, suits. Like, mm, suits, like, like... I mean, they uh, make some uh, white collar cases. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I have to check those out. I don't know what's going on with American <laughs> television <laughs> these days. I'm going to have to check that out and do some research to see what you guys are watching. You know, that's a good idea. If you guys watch uh, television shows, American ones or ones in English, send me them and maybe I'll take a look and pick out some of the phrases that I see them using or things that they talk about. That might be Donato says family okay, okay. guy. Okay, I'll leave you the message on Facebook. Yeah, that would be it's, great. It's a, it's a good TV show. Okay, so. cool. Thanks for the recommendation. I will check it out. Um, that's good. That's good. Alex, hi. Hi, Kennedy. Hi. How are you? I'm very good. Thanks. Good. You like two and a half men? Yes, I love it. <laughs> oh, I bet your mother. <laughs> okay, good. And do you watch it in English or is it dubbed? Sure, I'm everything uh, watched in English now. Nice. And then do you have the, the subtitles or do you yes. do it without the subtitles? Only English subtitles. Okay, awesome. Well, that helps. But you, so you watch it in English with English subtitles. Yeah, sure. I make some stops and uh, try Super. to figure out. That's, that's so awesome. That's what you guys should be doing. That's great. Cool. And then we have Vincenzo. Hi. We can't hear you. Are you on mute? Hi. Hi, there we go. Okay. How are you? Hi. I'm fine, thanks. Awesome. Vincenzo, have we met before? Have you been in my class before? Uh, sorry, I don't understand. Have you been no, in uh, this my is class? the first time. Oh, cool. Welcome. It's nice to meet you then. Where are you from? Uh, excuse me. Where are you from? I'm I'm from Italy. Italy. Um, middle village near Rome. Near Rome. Yes. Cool. Okay. Well, thank you for being here. It's nice to meet you. Okay. Okay. Thanks. We are talking about everyday conversation and right in this class we will be doing two classes on that. This one and the next one. This first one uh, will be about phrases that you use on the phone. We're going to talk about formal phrases and questions you can ask when you are calling you know, maybe a company or when a professional company is calling you, they will speak formally. So we will go over formal phrases and also informal phrases for when you are calling your friends or your family in English. You don't have to be so formal. So we will go over both of those. And welcome, Juan. Nice to see you got into the class. Welcome. Hello? Hi, how are you? Hi, good. How are you? Yeah, I'm doing well. I wasn't sure to join because uh, they're making some works here. So there's a lot of background noise, but I'll oh, keep myself doing muted. construction. Doing yeah. construction. Doing construction. Yeah, I know. I, well, thank you. It's, it's fine. I can hear it when you are talking, but maybe if you're not talking, you can keep it on mute. We can hear it a little bit. Uh, but yeah, it's no I'll, I'll try to keep uh, mute all okay. the class. It's no problem. This is why I have been moving around from place to place. There's construction all around me, but I think it's done now. Okay, so let's get started. We have a lot of phrases to cover, and it's a full class. I want to make sure everyone does some talking today. Uh, let's start with, um, let's go with formal. Let's start formal. Okay, so you call, you want to call somewhere, and ring, ring, and they answer, hello. 
Okay. What? Um, who should we be calling? What kind of office should we be calling? Should we call our boss? Call our boss. Yeah. At a new job, so we have to be really, really formal. We're not their friends yet. We're a new employee. Okay. So we're going to call our boss, but we have to go through our boss's assistant. Okay, so the assistant will answer the phone. So we have to ask for our boss. What is our boss's name, for example? Somebody give me a name. Robin. Robin. <clears throat> yeah. Robin. Okay, I like it. So our boss is a woman then. All right. So we're calling Robin, but we have to get we have to go through her assistant first. It means we have to first talk to the assistant before the boss. Okay, so we say ring ring and Robin says uh, or her assistant says Robin's office. This is her assistant. How can I help you? What do we say next? What do we say next? Let's go with Dennis. What do we say next? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, it's just uh, really quiet, a little quiet. Uh, well, I don't know. I don't know ah. why. There we go. Oh. Okay. okay, so ring, ring. Hi, so. this is Robin's office. This is her assistant. Remember, in English, we say, we don't say, I am her assistant. On the phone, we say, this is. This is, yeah. This is Robin's assistant. How can I help you? Uh, can I take my day off? That's my question. <laughs> Let's just get straight to the point. <laughs> okay. All right. That's uh, a good reason to call, sure. Um, but I am not, I am Robin's assistant. I'm not your boss. I do not have power to tell you you can have a day off. You want to talk to Robin. So I say, how can I help you? You would start by saying, hi. Let's start with Can hi. I speak with my hi. boss. <laughs> okay, Dennis and then Ruby. Dennis, what did you say? Uh, can I speak with Mr. or Mrs. How's the name? My well, boss. you can just say, you know, you can just say hi. Maybe you don't hear a name. Maybe they don't give you a name. Robin's office. Okay, can I, I speak with my boss? I forgot Good. his name. Hi, can I speak with Robin, please? Sure. And the name. Can I speak with Robin, please, is always good to put at the end. Or may oh, I? Want to, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Or may I? May I usually sounds even more polite. More polite. Yeah. Okay, so may I, right? Like, because you are also asking permission, right? Can I? I don't know. Can you? Are you able to? Do you know how to talk? Can I speak? Okay, you can, but will I give you permission? All right, so hi, may I speak with Robin, please? Good. Uh, sure. Um, may I ask who's calling? Right, have you guys heard this before? May I ask who's calling? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, so I'm going to write out these phrases like the in the dialogue. You can take notes if you want or just try to remember. Okay, good. Thank you, Dennis. May I Dennis, may I ask who's calling? <laughs> yes, you may ask. <laughs> Just joking. Oh, yes. Uh. <laughs> yeah, you can ask. Okay. Uh -huh. I'm looking for an answer. Uh, so, my name is Dennis. Yes, sure. What would my you name say? is Dennis. Perfect. Sure. My name is Dennis. Sure, because that's the perfect answer because I said, may I, and now I'm asking permission from you, and you can say, sure. And that's a very friendly way to say that and be polite. Sure, my name is Dennis, or sure, this is Dennis. Or, okay, 
Alex, can we say, no, you may not? <laughs> you can say that if you choose to. You can do anything you want to do. <laughs> um, okay. If, okay, but that brings up a good point. If you don't want to tell your, if you don't want to say your name, if you don't want to tell her assistant, or, you know, you would rather just make a surprise. For some reason, if you don't want to say your name, you can say, that's okay, as in, no. Sometimes in English, we will say, that's okay, when we want to say no, as in, it's a really polite way to say no. Instead of no, you can say, um, that's okay, I will try again later, maybe. Okay. So, would you like some food? Oh, that's okay. Means no. Okay. I know it sounds like it should be opposite. Yeah, that's okay. But if we say that's okay in English, sometimes, most of the time, it will mean no, the way you say it. But it's not formal. Um, I don't know if it's... Um, an issue of being formal or not, that's, I mean, that's what I would say if I were calling someone on the phone. Um, that's okay. I, it's, it's fine. It's not formal or, or informal. It's, it's perfectly fine. Okay? Uh, that's okay. I will try again later. It means I will try to call again later. Right? So, Alex, that would be something you could say if you don't want to leave your name. If you don't want to tell them your name or if you don't want to leave your name, that's okay. I will call back later. Okay? That's okay for a no. So, Alex, if I ask you, uh, would you like to leave a message? And if you don't want to, how would you respond? Alex, Robin is not in right now. Would you like to leave a message? No, I will not leave a message I or I don't know yeah good okay that tells me exactly your <laughs> feeling um, but if we want to sound very natural you can say that's okay I will call back later instead of no I will not leave a message Yes, that, those are the exact words, right? But usually English speakers will not talk in that way. Does that make sense? This, uh, this class, I understand you perfectly. Everyone would understand you. Um, but this class is uh, to teach you some natural ways to, to say the same thing. Not just be understood, but also say the same words that the native speakers will say. And not, it's not slang, it's not, you know, bad, it's, this is just communication. So, it's okay. So, Alex, would you like to leave a message? Oh, it's okay. I will call back later. Perfect. Okay, good. That sounded great. No, it's okay. No, that's okay. Both are okay. Both are good. All right, good. So, um, I would ask you, would you like to leave a, would you like to leave a message? Um, now, Alex says no, but let's say, Alexandra, you say you want to leave a message. How would you say that? Uh, she's not in right now. She's mm -hmm. out to lunch. She's out to lunch, or she's not available right now. Mm -hmm. Would you like to leave a message? I guess I just repeat the words, um, yes, I would like to leave a message. Okay, perfect. What is the message? Oh. <laughs> How do we say this? Okay. Uh, ah, yes, I would like to leave a message. Like, it will be. Okay, uh, or you could say, could you is tell her, talking? or could ah. you tell him, or if it's very formal, could you tell Ms. Robin, blah, blah, mm -hmm. whatever. Could you tell her, blah, blah, blah. Could you tell her? Now, what it, what I mean, what is your message? Do you want to just leave your phone number? Do you want to actually leave a message? 
You're like, I don't have anything to tell this invisible, made-up person. Okay, <laughs> um, so let's say you just want her to call you. How can you express that? Would you like to leave a message? You mean to ask her to call me back? Yeah, okay, good. Could you ask her to call me back? Yeah. Great, perfect. Could you ask her to call me back, please? Right? Please, yeah, sure. Yeah, uh -huh. good. Good. Juan also says, could you ask her to please return my call at blah, blah, blah. Good, and good use of uh, prepositions. Could you ask? Could you ask her to please call me back? Could you ask her to please return my call? Same thing. Call back, return your call is the same thing. At, and then the number, blah, blah, blah. Could you, or could you have? Okay. Or could you have her call me back at blah, blah, blah? Okay, good. If you, um, what if you, you're, you're not saying, okay, for example, if you don't want her to call you back, you just want her to know that you called, okay, you can say, could you just, could you let her know I called, please? To let someone know is to tell someone. Mm -hmm. Have you heard this before? Yeah. Good. Could you let her know I called, please? And that's it, right? If I if I want to tell someone to call me back, maybe they will think it's very important. But maybe the issue is not important. So you just, well, could you let her know I called? And just leave leave it like that. That's fine. Okay? All right. Could you let her know I called, please? Can we practice that? Let's go with Vinny. Yeah. <clears throat> Hi, oh. Robin's office. How can I help you? Uh, may I speak with Robin? Oh, she's not available at the moment. Would you like to leave a message, or can I take a message? Uh, can I say that would be great? That would be great. That would be great. Sure, that would be great. Good. Go ahead. Uh, yes, that would be great. Uh, could you let her know I called? Absolutely. Good. Okay. And then we would say, who's calling, right? Who is calling or who am I speaking with? That's what I would ask you. Or, if, you know, if you are in this situation, who's calling? Who am I speaking with? Is, who uh, is this? Who are you? This is Vinny. Ah, um, Vinny. Yeah. Okay, and Vinny, can I get your phone number, please? Can I get <laughs> your phone number, please? Mm, yes, that's the problem. I just need to make up a number. Um, nine, nine, eight, seven. Six four five two. Perfect. That's my number. Perfect. Thank <laughs> you so much. Okay. Yes, it's blah blah blah. Or yes, my number is blah blah blah. Okay. Um. So I'm calling someone, and maybe or you called me, uh, Ruby. So you're calling to speak with Robin, and uh, maybe she's busy. So I might. Well, she's busy. I have to talk to her for one moment. So I leave you. What do I say? What is that called? Okay. Um, give me a second. Oh, hold on, please. Good. Hold. Can I put you on hold? Or may I put you on hold? Good. May I put you on hold? Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Sure, that's fine. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Sure, that's fine. May I put you on hold? Okay, good. May I put you on hold? Um, and then if I want to know if the message is important, 
Um, I might say, is this urgent? Or if I don't ask and you want to tell me, the assistant, listen, this is an important message, you can say, it's urgent. Urge. It's urgent. Okay. Could you have her call me back, please? It's urgent. All right. Does that uh, have you heard that word before, or are we confused? Hello. Hello. Are we there, class? <laughs> I'm here. I see you. Do you. Is there anyone that does not know the meaning of urgent? That, yes, no, that's like necessary. Like Not quite ne ne but but very important and requires attention quickly. How may okay. I help you? It's it's an urgent matter. Okay. Hey Furkan, hey Gokan. Are you guys speaking English in the chat? I don't think that's English. Okay. So, nice hi Walid, welcome to class. Well, welcome, teacher. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. What about you? Great. Thank you. Okay, welcome. We're talking about phone conversations. So, yeah, Juan says also, please call ASAP. Um, if you are being formal, you can also say, could you have her call me back as soon as possible? What? I did uh, can I say, may you transfer this call to Robin's office? Sure. Could you transfer me to Robert Robin's office, please? Yeah, because it's you, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, good. Could you have her call me back as soon as possible, please? Or, yes, I'd like... Uh, could you have her call me back as soon as possible, please? It's urgent. Or it's an urgent matter. It's urgent means it's important. Okay. Good. Could you transfer me to Robin's office, please? Okay. Good. Dennis says, "Can I say, bear with me a minute?" Uh, sure. You um, bear with me a minute means please be patient. So. You could say that um, maybe we are on the phone and I have bad connection. I'm driving through a tunnel, but I know I will come out of the tunnel and have better reception. So it's all shaky. So I could say, okay, just bear with me a minute means stay with me and be patient, please. In one minute, everything will be okay. That's when you would say bear with me. Does that make sense? Okay. Yeah, thanks. Good. So, for example, we're in a verbling class. Maybe you, I am trying to explain something. Everyone is confused. I'm not doing a good job. And I say, okay, bear with me. I'm going to look for a Google image. And you have to wait for me to do this. Blah, blah. Bear with me. Just please be patient and, and stay with me. Okay? That's what that means or when it's been more than five minutes and the customer is getting too angry. <laughs> yeah. Okay, please bear with me. <laughs> yeah, sure. Good. Okay. Um, so it's, it's a formally or absolutely common? It's, I don't know, it's just a, uh, I don't know if it's formal or informal. That would just be the, uh, I, it would be acceptable for both, is what I can say. It's acceptable for both. Okay, please bear with me one moment, <laughs> right, if they have to wait a long time. Hi, Lena, welcome to the do, class. Do you use it? Yeah. With your friends, for example. Sure, yeah, bear with me, I'm going through a tunnel. The, the signal is so bad, bear with me, hold on. Sure, or please bear with me one moment, I, I'm trying to figure this out. Yeah, it's fine for both. Oh, okay. Lena went away. Okay. Uh, yeah, what else did I have for that? Okay, so um, the, the call center might ask, can I put you on hold? So also this is good for you to know if someone is calling you and you want to 
you put someone on hold. You would use this word put. Okay. So let's get a sample conversation going. Let's do um, let's do Juan and Vincenzo. Let's go through this conversation that we talked about um, from the beginning and, until the end. So go ahead. Do like two minutes maximum. Uh, I don't understand. I'm sorry. Oh, uh. that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. You you can watch this conversation. Let's do Vinny and Juan. Okay. Juan, you are calling Vinny. Vinny, you are Robin's assistant. Go ahead. All right. Perfect. Uh, ring, ring. That was perfect. Good afternoon. Robin's office. Uh, may I ask who am I speaking with? Hello, this is Juan. Is Robin there? Actually, she's not at the moment. Would you like to leave a message? <laughs> You're on mute, yes, Juan. Oh, sorry. Yes. Um, could you please tell her to call me as soon as possible? It is urgent matter. All right. Uh, as soon as she got here, I will, I will let her know that you called. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Anything right. else? I will let her know you called. Okay, Juan. Uh, but I forgot to 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 tell him the the number. Oh. All right. Okay. So, can you spell the number for me? Okay. Uh, it's. 305-55-51313. Oh my God! All right. <laughs> yeah, I will tell I will tell her that you called, and as soon as she got here, she will call you. Is that all right? Yes, please tell her it's very urgent, matter of all life right. or death. All right. Thank you. Oh, good. Good job. Good job. Vinny, okay, no problem, Alexandra. Vinny, why did you say, oh, my God? <laughs> because it's a huge number. Huh? <laughs> because it's a huge number. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so, yeah, okay. That would not be very formal in a real <laughs> setting. Oh, my God. <laughs> <I'm> wrong. <laughs> But okay. Okay, you guys did you guys did great. Lena, welcome back to the class. Lena. All right, we'll give you um we'll give you a moment to get signed in. Good job you guys. Let's have Alexandra and uh let's have Alexandra and Dennis have a similar conversation. Alexandra, call up Dennis. Dennis, you are Robin's assistant. Oh, uh, I'm assistant. Okay. Oh, oh, that's right. Alexandra said she would be right back. Okay, that's fine. Let's go to Alex. Alex, are you there? Yes, I am. Yeah. Okay, Alex, can you please call Dennis and have a similar conversation? Okay. Uh, hello. May I speak with Robin? Okay, I'm listening. I'm Miss Robin. Oh, <laughs> it's Robin. Okay, her assistant is out to lunch. You got you got Robin on the line. So go ahead, Alex. Why are you calling? What do you need to talk about? It's Robin. Yeah. What do you want? Uh, who is she? She's my boss? <laughs> I'm your boss, yeah. <laughs> totally. Okay. Um, I miss Robin. Yeah. Robin, Robin. Are, are you having a bad day? What do you want? <laughs> hi, I yeah, hi, this is Robin. Alex, now you have not introduced yourself yet. You have not told her who you are. So now you have to say, hi, Robin. This is, right? Hi, hi Robin. Yes, this is Alex, your walker. And I'm thinking that I need a race. <laughs> yeah. Need a what? What do you think about it? 
<laughs> what do you need? I'm sorry. A race, am I right? Can rice? You? Yeah, you're right. Rice? A raise. A raise is more a money. salary. <laughs> a higher salary, more money. Yeah. Same job, just more money. A promotion is a higher job title. Usually with more money, but sometimes no. But a raise is more money, same job. A promotion is better job. Okay. Yeah, so you want a raise. <laughs> okay, Alex, if you want a raise, do you just call your boss and ask them like that? Yes. <laughs> because yeah. I'm an expensive worker. <laughs> okay. Um, Alex, you have an interesting style to you, sure. Okay. Why, why not? What, what, if, um, what if we said it a little bit differently? I'm sure a lot of people would not just say, yes, yeah, so uh, can I have a raise? <laughs> uh, maybe you would say, hi, Robin. Do you want to ask a favor? Do you want to ask you know, maybe to have a meeting? A really good way you can do this, I'm wondering if we could set up a meeting sometime soon. I just didn't understand what is what did you mean about that, Miss Teacher? Teacher. Yes. Which part do you not are you confused by? I didn't understand the, the, this last part. I didn't understand what did you say. Oh, I'm okay. I'm gonna. T I'm typing it, and then we'll talk about. Hmm. And candy about rice. Uh, together, rice. Yeah. Get a uh, raise. Yeah. Raise. Yeah. Okay. So one thing you is now Alex has uh, something. Alex wants to make a request, right, uh, from his boss. So he Alex might say, "So can I get a raise? Can I get a raise?" All right, but maybe you might not want to say that like in that way. So you could say, okay, well, yeah, I'm calling. Um, maybe. To schedule a. I'm calling to set up an appointment with you, or I'm wondering if we could set up a meeting. When you say I'm wondering if we could blah blah blah. It means you want to do something, but you are actually saying it in a very nice way. Does that make sense? Yeah, sure. I'm wondering if we could set up a meeting to discuss anything. Okay. But what we can say when we speak about uh, when you speak to our friend? I'm sorry. What we what we have to say when you speak about uh, when you speak with our friend? Oh, informal, when you speak with your friends. Yeah. Okay, I will get there. That's next in just a few minutes. So um, I'm calling to set up a meeting with you. You can say it like that. So Alex, I'm calling to set up a meeting to discuss blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. You know, would you have time? Or if you have time. Would you have time to meet with me and discuss blah, blah, blah? Okay. All right. Good. Any questions on that so far? Do you have uh, the time available on a particular day and time? Yeah? Good. Okay. Uh, do you have time? Uh, or when would you, right? Because do you have time? They can say yes or no. But you can say... When would you have time to meet with me? When would you have time to blah, blah, blah? Or when would be the best time? When would be the best time to meet? 
Mm -hmm. okay? okay? Or... What, you said. what day or what time would be best for you? Okay? What time would be best for you? Good. Okay, so any questions before we leave the formal talk? Excuse me, I have a question. Sure. Instead of set up, can I use schedule? Okay, so For give example, me an example. Uh, I was wondering if I if I could schedule an appointment or a yeah. meeting to discuss something. Okay. A meeting will be one on one. An appointment mm -hmm. is if you, an appointment is usually for a service. So mm -hmm. I make an appointment for the doctor or I make an appointment mm -hmm. for a haircut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I know I said appointment earlier. Sorry. Okay. Uh, but if you want to schedule a meeting or schedule an appointment, good, as a verb. Okay. I'm wondering if I could schedule a meeting with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. Okay. So informally, let's jump right into it. Who asked? Was that Walid? Yeah. Okay, Walid. So let's start. How do you how do you have an informal conversation? How how can uh, when I speak about with uh, my friend? How I can tell him? Okay. How can I right? How can I talk with my friend? How can I talk with my friend? Okay. So your friend in this case is going to be Lena. Yeah. Lena, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hi. Okay, so we are going to go through an informal conversation. Let's take it step by step. Wally, why are you calling your friend? What do you want to talk about? Wally? Yeah. You can call your friends for many reasons. What it, we're going to have an uh, it's not for me. Uh, sorry, I thought the question is not for me. When I ask my friend, I uh, generally I call my friend to have a meeting in the afternoon. Okay. So you want to meet up with your friends. Yeah. Okay. When you meet, just meet someone. It's like for the first time. Hi, I'm Kendi. I am Wally. Nice to meet you. But when you want to get together with your friends, you meet up. Okay. So you're calling ring ring, Lena says. Uh, I'll be glad to see you because I've I have I haven't seen you for such a long time. Oh, okay. Okay, so you would say that right. Good. You could say that to him. So first you start on the phone. We are on the phone right now. Hello. Hello. Hi Manit. Hi Linda. How are you? <laughs> Oh, miss you. <laughs> miss you too. By the way, teacher, it's, uh, it's really uh, I miss her because we have uh, two years we didn't see each other. Oh, you oh. are her friend, really? We, we really are friends. Yeah. Oh, in real life. Yeah, we are meeting yes. here. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Okay, good, perfect. Yeah. So you know how to communicate with each other. So, Lena, hey, how are you? Hi, Hi Gwenid, how are you? What's up uh, with you? Fine, thanks. What about you? Everything's all right. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Okay, but you call <laughs> Lena, so Close like, friends. okay, Lena. So we're speaking informally. You could say, "So what's up?" Like that what's asks up? him why is he calling, right? So what's up? When she says, what's up, she is now asking you, okay, you said, hi, it's Walid. Oh, hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, cool. Okay, but you called her, so she's waiting. She wants to know why you called her, so she says, so what's up? What do uh, you say? What's up going good? <laughs> so she's not at, okay, you can say, what's up, as a greeting, like, how are you? But in this case, you, she already asked you, how are you? You said, fine. And now she wants to know why you are calling her. So, Lena, what's up? 
So what's up? So what's up, Wadid? Now you tell her why you called. Yeah. I'm just calling you to because to just if you uh, I'm wondering to have a meeting because I miss you so much. Okay, good. Let me stop you right there. Have a meeting is formal, right? I'm Meet calling up. because you know I want I'm you know I'm wondering if you want to meet up. Meet up. Yeah, I'm calling to see if you want to meet up later. I'm calling to see if you want to hang out later. I'm calling to see if you want to get together later. They're all the same. Yeah. Meet up, hang out, get together. Because yeah. I so try again, I'm calling. Go ahead, Walid. Uh, hi, Lina. Hi. Hi. What's up? You didn't. You didn't ask me how am I. How I am how doing. You, yeah, that's right. How are How are you? How are you, Lina? I'm fine, thanks. What about you? I'm fine. Uh, I'm doing good. I'm I'm doing well. What about you? Uh, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> well, I w I was wondering so if we can meet up because I've missed you so much and I've I didn't see you for a long time. Yes, me too. I'm uh, we're always waiting for your for your call. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right, teacher? Uh, yeah, that was good. That was good. That was okay. It was For okay. The first time. Yeah. No, no, it was good in general. It was good in general. Okay, good. So, what do you what do you want to do? Right. I suppose to ask him or. Uh... Sure. Right. I'm calling to see if you want to hang out later. Okay, you can say, what would you like to do? Yeah. So, what did what do you like to do when we meet up? Uh, we, we, uh, if you can, we have to go to the drink a coffee or tea or whatever you like. <laughs> okay, what, that's fine with what, me. Uh, what do you, do you want to do? Uh, by the way, I'm free uh, today, but whatever you would want to do, yeah, I'm here. Just call me. I didn't hear you. <laughs> I'm, think, here, uh, huh? I'm here. Just uh, call me whenever you can uh, because I'm uh, today. I'm free for you. Uh, I'm uh, I'm I'm so happy to to hear from you. Oh, same here. Okay, good. So you can say another way to say that is I'm free all day, right? I'm free all day. <laughs> so if you I'm free all day. And another thing you could say would be, um, I don't know, I'm free all day. I'm open to anything. Have you heard this before? I'm free all day and I'm open to anything. Means what to anything. You know, what I, I can do this or I can do that. I'm open. Yeah. Right? I can, I'll do anything. I'm free all day. I'm open to anything. Another way you can ask is, what would you like to do, or what did you have in mind? Is what were you thinking? Maybe you have an idea. So uh, if I say, what did you have in mind? Well, I was thinking we could see a movie. Yeah. Okay, so let's say, Ruby, I want to hang out with you, right? Or you want to hang out with me, whatever, and I say, yeah, that's that's cool. What did you have in mind? Okay. I was thinking we could. Yes. What? I was thinking if we even would you like to go for a cup of coffee? Okay, so I was thinking if, we could if, you, if go we for could for a cup of coffee. Good. I was thinking we could go for coffee. Coffee. Ruby, now you call uh, Alexandra. 
call Alexandra really quickly and try to make a plan with her. Okay. Hi, Alexandra. How are you today? Uh, I'm fine, thanks. What are you up to? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, uh, well, uh, that would be great. You. Right? Or you want to hang what out? What would you like to do? Uh? <laughs> Sorry, okay. Uh, okay, where did we leave off? You call Alexandra. Hello? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, I said, what are you up to? What are you up to? Good. That means, what are you doing, Ruby? What are you okay. doing? Okay. Um, well, I'm doing great. So. Um, what are you doing? Like, are you watching okay. television? <laughs> okay. Okay. Right now, I'm taking a class. I'm in this class. So, um, what are you doing? Um, I'm just sitting around. <laughs> well, that's good. Then. Are you so, planning? Do something tomorrow? Uh, yeah, we could go out for a drink. What do you think about it? Yes, I could like. I could like to. I don't know if you have any particular place to visit. Um, so maybe we should arrange the time. Okay. Yes. Uh, what time would be nice for you? Hmm. I think I'll be free from uh, 8 p.m. So any time starting from 8 p.m. Okay. What about uh, uh, at uh, 5 p.m. Uh, after? Yeah. You said after 8 p.m. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. What about at 9 p.m. Oh, okay. That will fit. That will do. So see you. Okay. See you. I awesome. will, I, I will be there. <laughs> Awesome. That was good. Okay. Good. Another, um, that was perfect. Another, just another way, short, shorter way to say what time would be nice for you, what time would be good for you. If it's informal, you can say, when's best? It's shorter. It might be easier. When's best for you? Like, when is best for you? Or when's good for you? Okay. When's best? Good. Any questions on this? Uh, can you? <coughs> can I? Uh, excuse me. I'm sorry. Okay, let's go really quick. Vinny and then Ruby. Okay. Uh, when you ask what are you up to, you can also uh, ask what would you like to do. Isn't okay, it? good question. What are you up to? What are you up to means what are you doing at the moment? But for example, can you say what are you up to for tomorrow? Oh, yeah, that's a, yeah, exactly. If you specify at a different time, then that's okay. So, what are you well, what are you up to tomorrow? All right. What are you up to next week? What have you been up to lately in the past? Good. What are you up to tomorrow? What are you doing tomorrow? Good. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, somebody wrote What's up with you? Um, you could say, hey, uh, so, let me see. What's up with you? Yeah, it, what's up? Not much. What's up with you? Not much. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very typical conversation. You will hear that. Okay, Ruby, go ahead. Okay, just so that when's best for you is a good way to ask for the time, right? Yeah. And uh, can I say what time works for you? Yes, you can. What time works for you? What time works for you? Okay. Um, 8.30. Oh, that doesn't work for me. What about 9? Okay, that works. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, any uh, any other questions about this or making plans or talking on the phone? What if I'm call What if I'm on the phone with you, but someone else is calling? <laughs> on the uh, what if someone's calling? How do we say? What are we talking about? Right? I'm on the phone with you, but now Robin, my boss, is calling me when I'm talking to you. 
What, what, how do I say this? I have another call. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm, I gotta I gotta go. Uh, I call you later. Okay, I gotta go. I'll call you later. I gotta go. I'll call you later. I'm sorry. Could you hold on a moment? Someone is calling on the other line. Right. Someone. So that's uh, the good opportunity to say bear with me, bear with me. For uh, bear minutes. with me is if somebody <laughs> is like, you don't say that maybe right away. Or, because I don't know, maybe I don't want you to wait for a long time. I don't know. Or maybe I know what's going to happen and I say, okay, just bear with me, let me deal with this and I will come back. Sure. Yeah, that could be another good um, opportunity to say that. Okay. So hold on. Someone is calling on the other line. Okay. Mm, anyone? Wait on the line. I need to answer. Could you hold on a moment? We did this uh, yesterday in the slang class, right? Hold on, hang on, I think, right? Could you hold on a moment? Could you hang on a moment? Could you hold for a minute? Could you hold for a sec? Sec, short for second. Okay, informal. Good. Any other questions about this? Yeah, how about the light way to get rid of something? <laughs> on the phone. <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Okay. Um, me, I have yeah. a question. Uh, here you said, um, could you hold on a, a moment? Uh, can I say just uh, one moment? Sure. Well, it is a complete sentence. Oh, that's fine. One moment, please. I'm okay. telling you one moment. Yeah, that, that's fine. A polite way to get rid of someone. Um, okay, well, you, you can just say, um, I'm sorry, I have to go now, but we can continue this conversation later, or, um, unfortunately, I have to go now, um, but I will call you back later, I have to go. I'm losing signal. I can't hear you. <laughs> Does that make? Uh, who asked that? That was uh, Dennis asked, right? I'm yes. sorry. I I'm so I'm I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I have to go. Uh, you're breaking I, up. You're breaking up. Yeah. You're breaking up. <laughs> and then hang up. Maybe <laughs> make it sound like you're losing connection. I don't know. Okay. So I'm sorry. I have to go now. Right? Or, I'm sorry, I have to get back to work. Get back to something is return to doing what you were doing before. I'm sorry, I have to get back to work. I have to get back to my children. Right? means return and get off the phone. Okay? No, you don't. You can say... Here's one more. I know we're over time. But the next class is about the same thing. I hate to cut this. Right. That's a good one. I hate to cut this short. I don't want to say goodbye, right? I hate to cut this short, but I have to go. Okay? Yeah. I hate to cut this short, the phone call but I have to go. That's a good one. You're expressing regret. Like, oh, I really don't want to go. I'm unhappy about this. Maybe you are, but they don't know that. Okay, good. I hate to cut this conversation short, but I have to go start my next class. So hopefully I see you there. You guys did a great job today, and I'll see you in the next class or sometime soon, hopefully. Bye. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.